Hello everybody, this is Dennis at Boulder Sounds. I'm going to give you a brief overview of the version 2 handbells for contact 3 and 4. Uh, the main new feature is we have more bells. We have an expanded range. So on the low end, we have the low C2 bell, which is this very large bell, and it sounds like this at its original pitch. And this is a very long sample. If you hold the key down, it'll go a good 30 seconds before uh, the sample fades out. And then in that same octave, we have the G2 bell, and that one sounds like this. And so the C2 and G2 bell are mapped chromatically throughout that octave. They're stretched, so they're interpolated. They're not all one half step samples of new bells. However, in the next octave, we also have a new octave of bells, and this is chromatically sampled bells. Every key is round robin sampled for every half step. C that I just played, that is where the version 1 handbells left off. So we have these lower two octaves have now been filled out. And these low bells, I have to tell you, they're absolutely gorgeous sounding. And they've been sampled with many different hits, with uh, chopsticks, with soft mallet, hard mallets, hit on a table with mallets. I've also created some singing bells by running a wood dowel along the rim and making the bell sing, which is a really nice ethereal sound. And we also have martellato lifts and regular mart articulations added throughout the entire six octaves of range, which was not available in version one. So here's a little bit of just what the low bells sound like. I'm just going to be noodling, so don't expect anything wonderful. Okay, and now here's a little bit of the next octave, now the next three octaves from version one, just so you can hear them. And now this next octave is a new octave in version two. This is C7 through C8 chromatically sampled. They're very high bells. Now I'll just give you a brief tour of the layout of the interface for the handbells version 2. Uh, we're looking at the main page with the amplitude envelope control, and uh, we have various sustain modes here and pedal modes. I'll get to those in a little bit. On the right side, we have EQ button. If you just click on the button, it takes you to the corresponding page immediately. Uh, this is the church IR convolution, which you have four church IRs to choose from, and then you have various controls as the size of the church, uh, the amount of the wet-dry control, and then we have uh, public perspective if you're on the stage playing the handbells or viewing the handbell player from the audience. So you can just switch the panning control just like that with a quick click of a button. Uh, we have reverb control as well. If you don't want to use the IR convolutions, you want to be a little more CPU conservative, you can use that. And then down here we have our 
navigation to the various pages if you want to use the drop down menu. So you have the main page, the Echo Gyro page, that's a special effect set up with LFOs, uh, EQ page, location page, reverb page, and then the help page is a nice uh, intuitive help menu for you to just scroll through if you're not sure how to use some of the controls in the contact instrument. Everything is explained for you right here. You don't have to refer to a separate PDF. Another very nice feature built into the contact script is preset, save, and recall. So for example, if I go to uh, the church IR page, and you see we have various parameters for the church IR. So I could choose, for example, church IR number three, change the size to 50%, change the amount control if I wish. And then here under save preset, I can save as many as six presets. So you can make your own presets and reload them at whatever point in the future you wish to use them. And this feature is available on the church IRI page. It's available on the EQ page. And it is also available on the reverb page. So that's a very handy feature. Now I'll just show you a few things on the main page with the amplitude envelope controls. Uh, right now the sustain button is turned on right there, and the sustain pedal acts as it normally does when you're playing on your synth. Everything sustains when you press the pedal down. Okay. When I click on that button and sustain is now off, what's going to take over are the controls here. So we have the Release damp control. The default is 300 milliseconds. So we have very short notes. And I can increase that on up to 500 milliseconds for a dampened effect. And then also, uh, I can do this in with sustain mode on or off. I can change the attack of the envelope for a softer attack or no attack at all. And then I can change the curve of the attack here. This affects the shape of the slope of the attack on the envelope. And also this sustain on and off button can be controlled by the key switch down here on this low C. And if you look to the right here, I have pedal mode. So if I change the pedal mode from pedal sustain mode to pedal damper mode, What'll happen is, let's say I play without the sustain pedal down. And then I press the damper mode. So I can have notes sustaining in the background. Then press the damper. And have shorter staccato notes in front of it. And I can affect the parameters of those notes with the amplitude envelope controls that you see in front of you here.